This video is to show you how to diagonalize a carrier infinity. This is model number is 58 MVC 080. So it's 80 BTU, 80,000 BTU and high efficiency furnace. And this is, uh, was installed in 2016 uh, in the summer. So now it's around 2019 in November. And we had a massive flood in the basement. And this furnace was underwater around seven feet of water. So it did take everything in the furnace, all water, uh, uh, underwater. So eventually I was able to start during the summer, I was able to start the air conditioner. So the blower worked, the air conditioner unit worked, but I never tried the um, heat. So in the winter, when I started the heat, it uh, gave me error. So the first error I got was error 42. And that indicated that my inducer motor was bad. So the inducer motor, if you research this motor, these are ECM motors, and I'll put the part numbers on my video. And I was not sure whether the inducer motor itself was bad or the circuit board was bad. So the inducer motor, if you want to get it replaced, of course, if it's underwater and it has been flooded, the 10 year warranty on carrier um, won't apply and they probably will be able to see that it was waterlogged and neither they will be able to honor the warranty on the board. I had cleaned up the board a little bit. Um, so I called the, uh, the dealership or furnace uh, carrier uh, authorized um, uh, HVAC uh, people and they said there are chances that carrier will reject the um, warranty claim. So eventually I have to pay for it. Now, if you know, these parts are expensive and these uh, authorized dealers will not put anything other than new parts. So for example, this is, I looked up this part and this around 750, 700 or you can get it for, you know, they will probably charge you $800 for the part. And also you have to replace these three uh, pressure switches. Pressure switches were underwater as well. And you don't know what the condition is. I'll show you what happened with the pressure switches. Um, it had water in it, um, of course. But uh, here is the thing is, these ones have been modified. So they don't sell, carrier won't sell. Uh, these uh, inducer motors, their housing has changed and the pressure switch location has changed because the new housing you can't mount the pressure switches underneath it. Now this one is, I don't know why they need three pressure switches either way. I have another machine and I have another video for that. That's an American standard train. It's the same uh, manufacturer. And that one has only, you know, back to back two pressure switches in there. Either way. So what I did was I went online. I said, let me see if I can find a used circuit board and I did find a circuit board. So if you are worrying about how to find the number of the circuit board, so there are some numbers here and um, you can search by those numbers. So for example, this one has, I can put those numbers, probably not visible well. And if you look up online and especially on eBay, I found a lot of used circuit boards. They claim to be um, working. So those were taken off from actually furnaces which had other problems. So what I did was I replaced this circuit board first. So um, I was not sure whether the circuit board was bad. So what I did is I disconnected um, one, one terminal at a time and placed it on the new circuit board so that I don't lose them. You can also take a good picture of it. So the problem will be mostly in these wires so make sure you either take good pictures uh, but i just did one at a time and switched it from one uh, circuit board to the other so this circuit board cost me on ebay it was it was actually in, in a good shape um, i was very happy to get it 
and it cost me around $40 um, with shipping. So that's not bad, $40, $45 for a used circuit board. Those circuit boards new will cost you around 300 or 250 to 300 or more. Um, so once I replaced the circuit board, the same error came on, which is 42, error code 42. Now the error code 42, carrier has a manual where you can uh, troubleshoot using the status code 42. So I looked at the manual and um, I tried to troubleshoot. I did jump the wires. So make sure that you have power, the 24 volts on this. So 24 volts on the um, R and W. So those were fine. Actually, I didn't have any problems. And my the good thing is the blower motor was running. So I was very lucky with that. If your blower motor are not running, you might have to replace the blower motor. That's expensive too. Those blower motors are ECM motors as well as these are ECM motors, they are variable speed motors. And the problem was they have a circuit board. You can see those green circuit boards in there. And those go bad. Um, those circuit boards, I have replaced a motor in my other train furnace or American standard furnace, but this one was working fine. So I was very lucky with that. Um, and then I thought of replacing this unit with a used unit because I didn't want to spend $800 on this or even 650, I found some new ones with 650. But uh, I found a used one, which is this unit. Uh, and I found it uh, on eBay um, for $100 and, and around 20, $22 for shipping. And the person actually gave me these three included. So I said, can you put those things, those in the picture? So probably he didn't even need those anymore. Um, so I did, Put this in it was not difficult to put in i will put another video of it to show how to put that in um, and if you like uh, to see um, how i put that in watch my other video so once i put that in I, actually before i even put that in i um, connected this wire or uh, this harness is the only one that goes into the inducer motor and ran the cycle and it did kick in the fan so i was um happy that this one uh, was the problem and so i put that in the next error i got was with the pressure um uh, the gas valve so this error was actually i saw uh once you turn it on your inducer motor will come on and i can show it how that thing works um uh, the inducer motor comes on and it blows the air out from the chamber inside where the furnace is. And once it creates enough uh, low pressure, these, these uh, pressure uh, sensors will, um, will um, activate and then it will start the igniter in there. So the igniter glows in there. Once the igniter glows in, this gas valve should open. And in my case, the gas valve was not doing anything. And so I replaced the gas valve as well with a used gas valve. This again, new probably is around 200, $250 or more. And I found a used one for around uh, $45. So I replaced this unit and it works like a charm. Uh, so here is, I'm going to turn it to heat. I like this uh, unit, which has, it's not a, it didn't, uh, it was not uh, the infinity thermostat, but this is from Top Tech and it has enough cycles for me to do enough settings for me. So you can see the inducer motor is on. It will kick on. Once it gets up to speed. You can hear the click. And soon you will be able to see the glow in there.
there you see the glow and the burner should fire I'll and the burners have fired you can see the blue smoke I will turn the flash off and see so there you can see the burners have come on there are four burners in here and within a few seconds it will turn on the fan or the motor blower And there it goes. I have a working furnace for spending around two hundred dollars and getting some knowledge out of it. Now I have uh, replaced the circuit board, the inducer motor, and the gas valve. 